today I'm going to show you uh, how to make doors and in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to switch how to make the switch make the doors open and close but right now let's make those doors as always I have the the doors made by me you can have them too by going to the link in the description and you have to do just like we did with all the other sprites is change this to multiple this to 20 from my linear to point compress the true color sprite editor slice them up into a grid that is 10 by 20 which is the size of each door sprite apply it and by dragging all of these sprites to our scene Unity will ask us for to create an animation and this will be the door closes animation as you can see right here we are going to make the, the default sprite to be the door closed so that it is actually visible in the scene but still the animation will still play now click on the door that you have and go to your animation window and create a door open animation door opens and change the sample the samples for 20 to, from 60 to 12 and drag the the sprites in the reverse order once you have that done go to your animator window and you'll see the two animations there if you if if the animator is not in this uh, animator component because it could be on this one just click on door and it goes to that component and let's make some transitions from one to another we want of course our door to be closed by default so it is right now as it is right now create a bool parameter called opens and of course it's false by default and when the door goes needs to open we set this the, the transition in the transition we set it to true and in the other transition from the we want when we want the door to close we set it to false before we jump onto the code we have to go on to the animations that we just created these two and, and uncheck loop time now let's create the script for our door now this door will be open not by switch today but by a trigger a proximity trigger so when the trigger when the player nears goes near that trigger and triggers it the door will open and that part of the stuff the trigger stuff will will be programming in another place another script in this one we're going to make a reference to the animator class just like we did for example with the switch and set the animation to the component animator in our game object animator don't forget the parenthesis semicolon and now we want to create two public functions public void functions that will open and close the door so the door opens function and in here you want to make uh, anim.setBool and we're going to set the bool that we created the opens bool if I recall to true so that any animation to open rolls and copy this one and create a door closes 
dot closes function and set this to false save and now we're going to have to take care about the the collider stuff the trigger stuff first we're going to have to add a collider to our door so that the player can actually collide with it this one will not be a trigger where we will be creating the trigger right now press ctrl shift n to create a new game object an empty one and make it a child of the door make its position 0 relative to the door so it's in the middle of the door and add oops add the box collider to it a trigger collider a box collider and make it a trigger by clicking here done and now let's program this stuff oops door trigger it's the name in this script we'll be accessing the door and uh, this script and we will be um, starting these functions in this script right here let me show you how we do it public door script door we will later on add the game object door to to here and now we want to make our void on trigger enter functions and on trigger exit on trigger enter 2d 2d don't forget to type here color to the other oops and we must check if what's squatting with the with the trigger is actually the player so if other dot tag equals player then what will happen is that <coughs> We go on to the door script. This door is actually a, an instance of the script. It's just like this other script was here. Door dot door opens close open and close parentheses and this is then the door will this will call this function and the door will open. Now I want to make the same thing when that player exits the trigger, so copy this, exit, and type here, door closes. Okay, now we have all the animations all set up, all we have to do right now is to add our door game object to this field in our door trigger, this field over here that we created here. We have to add our door here so that the Unity finds out the script that we're looking for because that script is in here. And now the animations are all set up as you can see. But but there's still like we can still go to the other side because there's a collider 2D in there. And right now I'm going to show you two ways of making this work one is with code and one is only with the animation window in with the animation window only all you have to do is in for example in this door opens animation we're going to have to add a curve go on to the box collider 2d and onto this enabled field and what this does is this will animate the this here the collider of the the collider oops the collider of our of our box collider it will say if it's true or it's false right now as you can see it's true and maybe about in this sp sprite over here we'll make it we'll create a a key key point or whatever this is keyframe 
and make it disabled so that from here on it will be disabled just like we want it and in the door closes make the same process add curve box color to the enabled and first off it's disabled and maybe about here create a new keyframe and make it and make it enabled and right now it should work let's see yep it works now all, all you have to do left is to drag these into the prefabs folder and you're done now about the other method if you still if you want to know how to do it um, let me show you in the door script we're going to make two more functions called collider enable and the other collider disable call disable and to if you don't know uh, to make the collider be enabled or disabled you have to access the collider 2d component by doing by writing collider 2d dot enabled and set it to true to true or to false so if we want to enable the collider set it to true and if we don't want to enable it set it to false save the script and here on the on unity Uh, you can delete the other for, uh, method that we are using to, to make the colliders work and this method to use this method for example we are in the door opens we want the door to be the collider to be disabled right about here so click on there and go on to this little button over here that that says that event click it click on the function and find the call disable function which will disable the the box collider and I'll go to our door closes animation and right about here add an event the collider enabled event to make the sprite collidable again now let me show you if this is working it probably is but who knows shit happens as you can see, oops, it takes a bit to open, but it then when it opens, it opens for good. Now, of course, use the method that you want. It's not really that important. Both work. And that's it for today, guys. See you next time, where we'll be joining the door and the switch.